Hello and welcome to this Football Manager 2013 Challenge series. This challenge is called the Brits Challenge and it's a challenge I thought of myself and the idea of it is is my task is to win all the British leagues, cups and titles. So that's that means basically that I've got to win the Scottish, Welsh, Northern Irish and English League titles and their cup titles including FA League and other type cups and also for each club I go to I've got to win a European title that be the Europa League or the Champions League and one of the things which I'm going to struggle with this ch ch challenge is the fact that the Northern Irish League and the Welsh League have got such a low reputation that if I win the Champions League, say, with Linfield, who my starting club are, and then I then I try and move down to the Welsh League, that's not going to be possible because the Welsh League is going to be of such a bad quality in comparison to what I've been used to working at. So to that end, I believe I'm going to have to move around between clubs a lot of the time in order to make sure that I don't that I don't get to the point where I can't get any further with the task so the idea is I will get Linfield to the point where they're qualifying with ease to the Champions League each season and they've they're um they were getting through to at least like the knockout stages of the Champions League each season. And then hopefully I should be able to then move across to um, to a Welsh team. Uh, I don't really have a preference. I like historic clubs. So maybe that will be my preference. And that is why I picked Linfield. So let's just have a look at them briefly. So... They are Oh yeah, sorry. Okay, so they were founded in eighteen eighty six. They're a semi professional club. So within this task I'm also doing something called the semi professional challenge, which is you have to win the Champions League and the well yeah, you have to win the Champions League with a semi-professional side at the start and you can obviously make them professional and that's the only way I'm going to be able to do this so just looking through the rest of the club they've got they've qualified for the Champions Cup already they won the league last year I'm predicted first this year as well um, um, so some of our rivals are Glentoran who I have first game of the season and then Cliftonville, Porterdown and Crusaders um, yeah, so our biggest rival is obviously Glen Turan. It's called the Belfast Big Two Derby. A brilliant derby. Everyone really in Belfast gets up for it. But there is a lot of sectarian violent, violence. Um, the, some of the icons are Noel Bailey. He he actually already... He's one of my... He's my head uh, chief scout. I've just offered him the chief scout job. So hopefully he should come through. And I've also brought in other staff members. And then David Jeffrey. He's the... My, he was my predecessor. But obviously I've just got the job straight away. Okay. So then looking at my squad. Um, I just find the, the squad report. Here we are. So looking at my squad... Um, my goalkeeper's not too bad, I will admit. Uh, there we are. It's Ross Glendinning's got a good rep, uh, good potential, sorry. And Alan Blaney looks quite good. Billy Joan Burns is apparently a very good prospect. And Albert Watson is good. And then the rest of my defence looks pretty average. Par Jim Irvine, Irvine maybe, but I. Pr my preference is to play wing back, so that's something I'll probably have to sign. Um, midfield wise, I look quite strong, but this is definitely not a Champions League competing squad, but it's going to be a gradual process to build it up. I'm going to sign a new striker because I want a five star one or, or one who I know who can come in and do a job. So, um, yeah, so next episode I'll have 
hopefully signed a few players um what my preference is going to be is i'm going to try and sign some young players who can develop into being really good players and hopefully ones that are capable of winning the Champions League. Uh, then looking through at my finances, I've got a budget of 12k and a wage budget of 8.26k per week. So the most I can offer, wage-wise, is very little. And then my affiliated clubs are Rangers, and then two lower ones, Chimney Corner and Albert Fondry in the Northern Irish lower leagues. Um, so what I'm also going to do is before the next video I'm going to interact with the board I'm going to ask them if they can get a new affiliated club and uh, um, hopefully because I've got my Champions League first qualifying round coming up soon hopefully I'll, I'll get the finance ready to turn us professional because I'd like to do that quite early um, but that's about it for this episode Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to see more as the challenge develops. And I'll see you guys soon. I've been Effective Gaming and farewell.